So last November, I posted something called a happiness list on Beyond the Rhetoric. And the idea was, it's a list of things that make me happy. Uh, some people might call this a gratitude list because it's supposed to be a list of things that you are grateful for. Another way that you could think about it is if we wanted to talk about five reasons to be alive today. Number one. So you might be wondering why I did that weird sing-songy thing that I just did. Uh, the inspiration for today's vlog uh, comes from a fellow vlogger called Wheezy Waiter. And he does something that he calls five reasons to be alive today. I am grateful for the existence of vlogs like Wheezy Waiter, who is neither Wheezy really, and he, I don't think he's a waiter anymore. But he has demonstrated to me that daily or weekly vlogging doesn't necessarily have to take you on these grand adventures out in the real world because he shoots primarily out of his home office. So that's demonstrating to me that his vlogs can be consistent and sustainable and that's something that I aspire to do in 2017. Number two. I've done something that I told myself I did not want to do. I'm currently in the middle of reading three different books and I told myself I didn't want to do that. I wanted to complete one book before I started my next one so I wouldn't leave myself with a series of half-finished books. Curiously, the three books that I am currently reading are in completely different formats. The first book I'm reading in Dead Tree Edition, regular old paperback, The Walking Dead Volume 26. And I borrowed that from the library and it's like a graphic novel. The second book that I'm reading, I'm currently reading on my Kindle. Uh, the book that I'm reading is called An Unwelcome Quest and it's the third book in the Magic 2.0 series by Scott Mayer and it's a continuation of a series with these modern computer hacker geeky types that have found themselves in medieval England and now an evil foe from their past has resurfaced. The third book that I'm reading is in audiobook form and it's Born a Crime by Trevor Noah, the guy that took over for Jon Stewart on The Daily Show as its host. Uh, Trevor Noah has a very interesting past. He comes from South Africa, he was, he was raised relatively poor, and now he's hosting one of the most popular and biggest television shows in the United States. Number three. As much as I enjoy playing with my daughter and taking to Ikea to do random things. Ooh, purple. I do enjoy reading with her. We are currently in the middle of dozens of books and one book that she has kind of drawn herself to is called Dinosaur Rocket. Dinosaur Rocket waiting, waiting on the launch pad, on the launch pad, having final checks. Check, check, check. What are you doing? What's this? Book. Yeah? What is he doing with the book? I read it. Who's this? Oh, who's this? Mommy, dinosaur. Mommy, keep the dinosaur. Can you find the helicopter? Copter. Copter, yeah. What are the dinosaurs doing? Climbing. Oh, well, they're climbing. What's happening up here? Okay, Mama. It's the end. Oh, it's the end? Yeah. It's a great little bonding time that we have. She kind of curls up next to me and we flip through the pages and it shows that, you know, you don't really need to have that many actual words on the page because Toddlers just kind of pick up on stuff. Number four. Dad jokes. I am a dad. I make dad jokes. I asked some of my friends if I'm always making these stupid one-liners and these bad dad jokes. There's gotta be a way to like build on that, monetize that, utilize that in some way. Now I don't wanna school you about fish, but if I'm gonna try to finish something of this scale, I guess I'll just have to keep angling until I come up with a real joke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I used a laugh track there because the Beyond the Rhetoric vlog is not filmed in front of a live studio audience. Huh, maybe it should. Number five. And finally, I'm obviously not the only person doing some kind of creative challenge this year. Uh, I already spoke about my Quan 365 photo challenge I'm doing on Instagram and then this weekly vlog thing, formerly known as Jin the MC, now going by MC Jin, which I guess is kind of the same thing. He's doing 2017s for 2017, so he's just spitting out 17 bars of his freestyle rap recorded from what I can tell on his iPhone, so you should definitely check that out. Okay, so that wraps up the five reasons to be alive today. 
I can't believe I sang that again. So make sure you tune in next week for my next vlog. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you're doing, and thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.